Within the last hour, I've received copies of a few of the arrest reports of the 21 that were arrested in the sting and taken here to the Alachua County Jail. Earlier this afternoon, the police chief at Santa Fe College told me that Kevin Casper is a math professor at the school, but I checked this afternoon and his name no longer appears on the school's faculty website. The president of the Mandarin Athletic Association tells me he thinks that this gate is part of what he thinks might have led to the concession stand being broken into. It closes, but he says according to city policy, it can't be locked overnight. Even before this lawsuit was filed last week, some changes had been made here at the intersection where Orly Ohion and her mother were hit over two years ago. In addition to just the push button to cross San Jose Boulevard, there's actually a sensor up above on the pole that recognizes when people are in this area and need to cross. It gives them extra time to get from one side of San Jose Boulevard to the other. Launch after launch. About one per minute. Recovery after recovery at a rate of about three every two minutes. For the last day and a half, I got a behind the scenes look at the USS Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier as they train off our coast before deployment. We have to be ready and uh, we, we have to be ready to you know, fight at what we, you know, fight at what we call at the high end. Rear Admiral Andrew Lewis, the commander of Carrier Strike Group 12, is leading this current training operation to make sure all the ships are working together as they prepare to deploy together. The Mayport-based USS Farragut is in the destroyer squadron attached to the group. Surface warfare, which is we're responsible for everything on the surface of the ocean. Um, undersea warfare, also known as ASW, anti-submarine warfare. Um, where we're looking beneath the surface of the ocean for submarines and mines, and then maritime security operations where we're working on things like piracy. As planes are launched and recovered, day or night, sometimes scripted, sometimes reactionary to what the simulated adversary is doing, it seems like it never stops. I'm told this training mission is by far the most thorough and most vigorous that these men and women will go through. And this is the graduate exam, you know, the thesis program, uh, to make sure we're fully integrated, we can operate as a strike group and deploy. Uh, so this is the hardest part of that training phase that we're going through right now. The big challenges with that is communications and understanding commander's intent. So as planes are moved and shuffled around the flight deck for training and other ships appear on the horizon, what seems so planned and well calculated is actually a great training tool because of how quickly things change. Another huge turnout this year at Pete's for what's become a tradition, not like anything else you can find in our area. So many of these people say Thanksgiving based on tradition. This tradition, not about turkey and family, about friends and something a little bit more liquid. The party started early. It's not just a tradition, it's an establishment. Before 9 a.m. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! We are coming every single year because this is so cool. Buying drinks for themselves and sometimes for friends. My best friend was supposed to come and she couldn't make it, so I put her on a board and brought her with me. It's just really nice right before Thanksgiving. It's so homey and, you know, it's like you see people that you feel kind of like our extended family. Thank you, sweetheart. Happy Thanksgiving. For over 20 years, Pete's Bar has opened their doors for the block party that grows in size every year. Many people tell me the party is a great way to get Thanksgiving kicked off near the beach in a way unique to the area. The fun, the crowd, just the excitement of being out here on a great day. Thankful we live in a beautiful place. You get to unwind and uh, yeah, have a, have a relaxing couple hours before you have to deal with the family or whoever you have to, you know, you have your company coming over and dealing with all them. And with packed streets, happy customers and cold drinks lining the bar, whatever your beverage of choice for Turkey Day morning is, you can get it and then go home to that traditional meal. Some with more confidence in theirs than others. I made the mashed potatoes last night, the green bean casserole, the salad, it's all done, the turkey's in the oven, we're ready to go. During the press conference today, multiple people who were wanted in this investigation came right here to the Bradford County Sheriff's Office to turn themselves in. That process still ongoing for some of them. The sheriff here said that not only is it disappointing, it's also embarrassing to have to arrest others in law enforcement. But he says that problems like this a lot of times come from addiction and there have to be consequences 
for these types of actions. He said, though, that right now the only tool that he has to provide those consequences is jail time. Live in Bradford County tonight, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.